Hello, Internet. Demogen here. It's very, very warm in this room. Far too warm to have cameras on. So, I'm going to just go, go straight into this. This is my reaction, such as it will be, to the patch 6.2 Buried Memory trailer. As is always the case, I haven't watched the live letter that is actually, I think, still going on. I haven't watched the live letter that this has been released as part of i know some of the things that are due to be in it i know that we've got island sanctuary i know that we've got that new variant dungeon thing and omicron beast tribe quests if i remember correctly plus main story and stuff like that um but yeah no idea what kind of stuff that we're going to get shown in this so as always i'm pleading ignorance before we start because I'm sure a lot of the stuff that's in here that I don't know what it's about will have already been talked about. Just don't have time to watch the live letters. I'll catch the, the digest as and when that comes out. So, let's watch. Peggy 16. Peggy 16. Costa del Sol. There was once light here. No? And it shone its warmth upon creation. Was that for now? The lands were green and the seas. Oh, this is our island sanctuary. Life flourished. Fat. That looks very nice. It looks very expansive. How big is this island gonna be? This, this isn't. Is where I belong. This is the void. My home. This endless darkness you call the void. Oh, that's pretty. Who are you? That's possibly been revealed. Maybe not. Nice. Death doesn't exist in this world. Final Fantasy IV Battle Music Remix. This is one of the boss theme remixes, isn't it? It's another death they want. I say we. These are the uh, four fiends, aren't they? Is this a trial fight or the dungeon? These are the variant dungeons. What the hell is that? Oh, the um, the solo version of Steps of Faith. Which showed the way to meet young. These tribe quests. And who better to bear Hydeen's gift than her chosen champion? Heavensward trials with trusts. Finally here. And I will find you, sister. Ashdaya? You're not the only ones who can ride the wind. What is this music? Hachi! Let go and impress upon these interlopers the futility of defiance. What the hell is that? That's Lahabra's crystal. I shall see my wish fulfilled. Voice acting. Crushing his mass. One second. Okay, <laughs> that took a little while to find. Um, I made this ages ago when uh, during 6.0 if i remember correctly and i was trying to figure out who the different things belong to i know that there are other versions of this out there now but this was the version that i did before i'd seen other versions on the internet labrys crystal was blue
But in the video... If I can find it... Labrys Crystal, definitely not blue there. Also, that hair texture. Um, dear Lord, if nothing else, the thing that I am most looking forward to about 7.0 is upgraded textures. Um, there was a lot in that trailer. And it being so warm in here, um, I don't really want to go through it in the kind of detail that I have a tendency to do. So let's just see. So this was all island expeditions. Uh, island Sanctuary. Island expeditions. Wow, isn't it? That looks wonderful. I don't know how much of it is just cut scene -y introduction. It's just going to be low, low, not low budget, but low kind of area. Um, but it looks fairly substantial in terms of, you know, what what is there. As I said, deliberately not watching the live letter. This this just reminds me of the start. In fact, it probably reminds me of the start of Brave Fox's Long Stop because they're using quite a few of the same assets. And that makes perfect sense to me. You know, it also reminds me an awful lot of Coalint Island in the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. You know, with the, the volcano up in the centre of the island. You know, if there's a giant egg up there, or if I could put a giant egg up there, um, that, that would be awesome. Uh, but that, that, this looks really cool. Uh, we've already been told in previous things that we're going to be able to, to just have our minions roaming free. I've got lots of minions. I'm not a collector particularly but i do actually happen to have lots of minions so giving them something to do because i i very rarely use them you know I'll, I'll end up using the one that i get from the latest raid that happens to drop for me so i use the pod one for a long time i use the um i think i'm currently using the izima one because i got that on my first run and i use the little kind of black as this La orb thing for ages as well, because I was main in Dark Knight at the time. But this looks really cool, yo. Uh, how much of this will be here for us to start with and how much we'll end up building? Don't know. Quite interested to see what that's like. But that is, a, you know, I've always said that FF14 is at its best when it's doing things with shade and light that's when the game looks its best and again the other thing that i'm most looking forward to for 7.0 is the new lighting engine i hope that they don't destroy or mess too much with the game as it looks at night i mean yes they if they're going to redo the light engine completely of course it will look different but i do think that's when the game looks its best New shaders and stuff for 7.0. Hopefully it will bring the daytime quality up to give it that kind of extra visualisation. Creative Business Unit 3, who are very busy. Because, <laughs> you know, FF16. Right, so this is The Void. Now, who is this? She's clearly a Reaper. So I'm assuming tied to the... The avatar that, that came back from Xenos. Um, or maybe a completely new character. Like her earring. Like the recolor of her outfits. Dislike the texture quality. But I'm not going to keep on harping on about this. Obviously I want that set for my Reaper. Um, is that a new Scythe model? I think that's new. But I'm not certain. But this... The parallels between this and Ishgard are obvious. Uh, and, and not just Ishgard, actually, because there's elements almost of the, the Crystal Tower's interior in that as well. And, of course, the Castlevania parallels, um, you know, with the, the buttresses and things sticking out at weird angles that probably don't make a huge amount of actual physical sense. 
but that's a really cool shot and then we get this this is so this looks like a raid doesn't it yeah this looks like it's being built as a raid with you know your little arenas so are we going to go here as part of a raid but we're not due a raid in this are we this isn't pandemonium you know that the eight man raid stuff's pandemonium and the 24 man stuff is the 12 stuff so maybe this is a dungeon eventually or or maybe towards the end of of the 6.x series they will give us an extra raid i mean why not people have been saying for a while now that ff14 is very formulaic in terms of what gets released when and you can tell that they've already started to mess with that formula because we've got these these variant dungeon things um which aren't the same as as what we've been normally expecting but you could also argue that we've got those because the relic stuff is on Hildebrand this time. Don't know. I just think they're trying to make content that is going to extend the longevity and things that people can do in the game. Now, this is one of those moments. Who is this? Cool, cool outfit. Very cool outfit. Clearly demonic. Um, or void scent, rather. Um, because it's been so long since I've played FF4, and I can't, I, I've been saying to myself, yeah, I'm going to go and play FF4 so I can remind myself what the four um, elemental arch fiends look like and so on and so forth. I can't even remember. Is it elemental arch fiends? Four elemental lords? Again, it, it's been years. Uh, I need to go and brush up on that before I can offer any serious commentary. But the design of these enemies is great. It's a cool-looking sword bottle. But that on the wing there is particularly impressive. Obviously, it's horrendously compressed because YouTube. Um, but they were talking about nobody dies in this realm. Excuse me. Nobody dies in this realm. Uh, and yeah, clearly... Ah, no, this is a story dungeon. Because we're there with our trusts. So, yeah, it looks like at least the route up is going to be our story dungeon. Maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe they'll do it like breaking into the Crystal Tower. So, with each... I mean, that would be really interesting. Wouldn't it? And it would probably save them on some resources as well. Although people will critique them for doing that. But if we have, you know, this dungeon in 6.2 as the introduction to this this area and then we have to retreat and then we make our way in for the next bit. I mean, isn't Sid and Nero involved in this because it's World of Darkness stuff? Because they have experience with that. So that would be really interesting if we only get to do, you know, to fight one of these elemental lords is that the same one yeah it, it looks like a, it looks like a prop i mean he's going to be the end boss of the dungeon i would imagine um is this the sultana it is isn't it so this is the the Sildi Underground, or whatever it's called. Um, Sild Sildi Sildar, whatever it is, is the the precursor empire uh, to the Sultanate, essentially. Yeah, it's what Uldar is built on. So I guess this is under Uldar, maybe, or, or under under the the sands of Thanalan certainly red mage astrologian is, is that her or is it just i don't know a rogue 
Um, so we've got something again that reminds me of a Copper Bell Mines, but also the Amalja architecture up in the corner. Um, so we've got a mix of those two, plus also the the kind of Uldan arch style architecture on the left hand side. So you know, ancient empire style stuff buried underground. I like their their underground stuff. This, on the other hand. I do not know what to make of. <laughs> See, this is clearly above ground in Thanalan. Shades of Sunken Temple of Khan. This is this is this is Final Fantasy, isn't it? This is just weird. It's a giant marmot thing. This is the Steps of Faith? Which they're having to redo so it can be done as part of the, the Heaven's Ward with your, your, your dungeon trust buddy thingies. Uh, it looks looks like they've redone the cutscenes and stuff. That's Lucinia. Right. This is going to be our Beast Tribe quests. don't know what that is i hope i can have it as a minion because mind you i haven't got the the old one yet this is um heaven's Ward trusts this is hildebrand on the moon i'm not even mad that they're reusing the same assets from was it one of the 3.x ones? Where we find him buried in the desert. Um, th that looks like a song and dance number, which I'm quite terrified of. Not entirely sure why the Lopritz are singing and dancing. This was Ishtola saying something about crystals. A fragment of um, something. It's like, are we going back to, you know, the the... I mean, it's newfound adventure, isn't it? The whole kind of arc. So are we going back to this idea of collecting crystals of light again? Because that would be interesting with Heidelin being no more. And this is... Um, yes. Havner. <sighs> this is the vault... This is the vault, and we have Horshafon with us. Now, obviously, we know what happens to Horshafon. Spoilers, obviously. If you don't, if you don't, why are you watching this video? Um, I think this will have greater impact. If, if you go in with this, uh, with, with the trust version of Horshavon, because there'll be little bits of dialogue that he'll be saying as we go through. Um, yeah, we, we, you've already got a, a great number of ties to Horshavon uh, by this point in the story anyway. But to get through to the end cutscene, um, obviously when we originally did it, you know, Horshavon and, and friends just appear to save our life at the end. Um, but here is coming in with us, and I think actually that will almost certainly be the more preferable way of doing it. I might actually take a run through of that for you know a, a law run just to see what it's like. And yeah, that's it's interesting actually that he's still, and I, I'd assume he'd tank, um, but of course. The Warrior of Light in 6.x is a Paladin, so we've got two tanks. Maybe Horshafon's the DPS Paladin. That'd be an interesting one. Um, and this was the bit with the, the voiceover about Ajdaya. This looks like a dark version of Thavnir, doesn't it? You know, the... This bit up here, very reminiscent of the giant crystal, purple crystals of Thavnir. 
but it's clearly not. But it's also not clearly the void. Because there's clouds and stuff. So, yeah, quite intrigued about that. And I, I don't know whether that is Ashdire. Don't think it is. But maybe this is the void. Do they have clouds in the void? Either way, I like the, the colours. You know, that spectral blue is very, very nice. It, it, it looks like a chunk of Thavnir kind of drawn away, doesn't it? And here's our, uh, our new Reaper friend again. Fighting off a load of enemies. Uh, I assume this is more of the dungeon? Yeah, because this is the void gate, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know, actually. Right, why are you here? Why were the red red wings? Was it the red wings? The, the sky pirates. Why are they involved? I mean, obviously because Kate Sith knows about the void. Are they are they wrapped up in that story, or is there more to it than this? Oh, and the meeting of. Xenos's avatar with us in some kind of dungeony place. I'm really, really intrigued as to how this is all going to play out. And and what is this? Is this pandemonium? This has got to be pandemonium, hasn't it? So we've got giant like really giant actually. That's very large. So giant lizard beast thing. And then this massive tree, what's it? Which has clearly got some ads and some separate platforms that we're going to need to split over. Little meteor things or globules of something falling. And yeah, that's definitely Lahabra's sigil. Is constellation but the crystal color is wrong now we know lahabrea over the course of the many many thousands of years slowly lost himself um but that wouldn't explain why May maybe his crystal will change color during this during this raid series to go from red to blue maybe it's a retcon i don't know maybe it's a different lahabrea you know lahabrea is the office not the the person i'm intrigued as to that there's a lot of intriguing stuff in here there's pandemonium again don't know who that is that's themis That looks like Eric a bit, but with venom tendril things. And I like I like that crushing. So much of the the Asian sigil reveal is very much just a you know, it's hand waving in front of it to crush it, to move it to, to make it disintegrate is very, very interesting indeed. And yeah, then we get Mad Mad Lahabrea? I I don't know. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued indeed. Is there a date? Was there a date for this? Any dates? No. No date. Uh let me just quickly go and check when that is. August twenty third. So it's Oh, it's eleven days. Because it's the, it's the 12th day, isn't it? So, week and a half. That was a really cool trailer. There was an awful lot of really interesting stuff in there. And as I said at the start, 
it's quite possible that an awful lot of the things that I've been saying are known quantities. But again, as I've mentioned in reaction trailers, reaction videos to trailers in the past, I don't keep up with the drip feed of information from FF14. I don't need to. It's not like I am one of these people that needs to know what's coming next. I will quite happily just watch the main trailers uh, and that's it. I don't need to know the ins and outs of things. I know some people, especially if they are paying a subscription for a game, they, they have to play it every week and they have to know right there and then all of the details of what is coming up, every little thing that is announced. I'm not one of these people. You know, I go for weeks at a time without even logging into FF14. And yeah, I still pay the subscription. I've, I've had my subscription rolling since the start of 2.0. Is that a lot of lost subscription time? Yeah, probably. But obviously I've got the, the legacy rate because I'm a legacy player from 1.0. It, it doesn't bother me because when I do play it, I play it a lot. <laughs> And I get my money's worth out of it, especially, you know, around expansions time, even when you're paying for the expansion as well. It's there as and when I want to play it. And I don't need to faff. But I don't feel the need to be on top of every single detail. And I certainly don't feel the need to, to make a speculation video about every single little tidbit of lore um, that comes out. I, I, I just don't feel that need. You know, I'd much rather have the support rises such as they are you know this is enough for me it's like here are some of the cool stuff yeah here is some of the cool stuff here are some of the cool things in 6.2 we're not going to tell you what order they are just in this trailer maybe if you watch the live letter it makes a lot more sense but you know i'll, I'll get to experience them in in just over a week and a half and i'll be happy enough doing it that way it certainly looks like we're going into the void we're going to take on one of the elemental fiends in that dungeon um did i read somewhere that all of the void stuff is going to take us up to 7.0 because that'd be cool you know if if, if we've got 6.2 6.3 4 5 as it usual be you know, if that series, which is, what, two years worth of patches, well, year and a half now, worth of patches, um, that's a substantial amount of story that can be told there, as long as they, as long as they do it right, because obviously it is drip-fed as opposed to being told in one big chunk. Um, that could be... That could backfire depending on how they do it if it feels like there's too many artificial breaks a little bit like there was with the crystal tower raid series like oh we're going to retreat for three months until the next patch comes out um that sometimes felt a little bit forced and artificial so yeah if if they just do the void up until 7.0 and there's a new story in 7.0 That'd be interesting. It depends what they're going to do with gold bears and stuff. You know, th there's lots of speculation that could be made. You know, is he just going to be a, a villain until 7.0 or is there going to be more to it than that? And who is this new Reaper NPC? Because she looks cool and I want her stuff. Anyway, I was saying that this was going to be a shorter video and it's still half an hour long. Demogen is on brand. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed my reaction and numerous speculations that have probably already got the answers sorted out. Obviously, if you have watched the live letter and you know the answers to my questions, please don't spoil things for me in the comments below. I might even turn the comments off for a little while, um, but I probably won't. I just won't read them. Um, but please don't spoil stuff for me. You know what I'm like. I'm a, I'm a story-driven player. I want to experience these things for myself. This is just to entertain you and also for me to get my thoughts out there so that I can look back after I've played through the 6.2 content and go, yep, you were completely wrong about that. 
which sometimes happens. Sometimes. Have yourselves a fabulous day, folks. Enjoy the heat if you are in Britain, because it is 30-ish degrees here currently. I'm going to go and turn all of these lights off and camera off and put the fan back on. Hopefully, well, no, the fan's on. Hopefully it hasn't been picked up on the microphone because I don't want to have to redo this. Cheerio. Melting. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.